In almost every sandy patch of ground where I live, there's at least one ant nest. They work diligently all day, sending out workers to hunt and scavenge. But once these ants leave the safety of their nest, they have to watch their step because nearby there lives a creature which digs an ingenious trap to catch its prey. So right here is the pit of an antlion. This is the larvae of a really neat insect. What I'm gonna try to do is scoop up the pit in my hand, sift through the sand that I get, and then hopefully find the creature that has dug this trap. There is, there is, there is, look. There's one, I finally got one. Right here, let me put him in the, in the cup. There he is, okay, right at the bottom. Let me get him to a, a better spot to film. So this is the ant lion. Really, really cool insect. He's pretty small, so I'm gonna have to get out the macro lens to really give you a good look at him. You can see him, you can see him moving around in my hand there. So this is actually the larval form of the adult ant lion, which is actually it's quite a bit harder to find than the actual larvae because as long as you find a, a patch of sand, there's probably gonna be some ant lion pits there, but the adults are pretty tough to find. They look a lot like damselflies. But it's actually the larvae that I think are the most fascinating because these are amazing predators. What they do is dig steep sided pits right in the loose sand and these function as really effective traps to catch other insects in. And then the larvae sits right at the bottom, buried in the sand, jaws agape, waiting for a clumsy insect to stumble in. They're pretty squat shaped, they have a large abdomen and then a small head, but huge jaws. You can see those, and those jaws are serrated, so they can pin something in between there, and not only can they crush it with those jaws, also, they are venomous. They bury themselves at the bottom of their traps and wait for insects, mostly ants, to fall in. If an insect tries to climb out, it's gonna have a very hard time doing so because the steep sides of the pit create a miniature landslide underneath its feet. If that doesn't catch the prey, then the ant lion will flick sand at the ant, using its flat-shaped head to scoop up sand and then fling it at the ant with deadly accuracy. Once the ant is finally within reach, it lashes out with its massive sickle-like jaws and drags it underneath the sand. So the way they make the traps is they dig smaller and smaller and smaller circles down into the sand. So some people actually will call these doodle bugs because of that. They're so crazy looking. Look at the size of those jaws. They're huge in comparison to his body. After spending several years in this state, the strange larvae will metamorphose and turn into an equally strange adult insect. The adult antlion does not feed and lives less than a month. Its only purpose is to lay eggs and begin the next generation of antlions. Such an awesome, amazing little creature. I'm gonna go put him back in the sand and he can make, make a new trap tonight. These are truly amazing insects and a great reminder that there are so many cool animals right under our noses. If you want to see another creature that creates its own unique hunting trap to catch its prey, check out this video where I went into my garage and found the amazing combfoot spider. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time on Skidoo Island Wildlife.